uh, we don't need to work like we used to. So the first thing is we're going to record this for those people who can't make it. So hopefully you've got no objections. Um, if you if you have, then you just switch your video off and nobody will see you on the recording. But uh, if you just tick the got it bit. Um, I think this is probably us now. Uh, so most of us will be on the same screen, um, apart from iPads, perhaps. If you do have a question as we go along, um, just stick your hand up. Um, you can do it on the electronic button if you're more comfortable with that, but I should be able to see anybody with their hand hand up. And um, and we will start by, uh, you have to bear with me a little bit. Um, we'll start by showing a video of Gordon McAnally at the International Assembly. And make sure I get that right. There we go. So this lasts about eight minutes, uh, and then we'll welcome um, District Governor-elect Mary. So, play. Six. I visited a village in Thailand, Ban Taling Jan, where Rotary members following the tsunami of 2004 had provided new houses, a meeting hall, a childcare facility, and a healthcare facility. There I was approached by a woman who looked as worn as you might expect of someone who had faced and lived through what she had done. That woman offered me a beautiful seashell. This beautiful seashell. She explained that the shell had been in her possession for more than 30 years. It was one of her very few remaining possessions. And initially, I was reluctant to accept it. But she insisted on giving it to me as a token of her gratitude for what Rotary had done for her. Later on the tour, I saw the woman again. And I learned that she had lost her husband, her daughter, and also her son in the tsunami. She told me that that disaster had taken everything. She lost her family, her home, her livelihood. But worst of all, she had lost hope and all reason to continue to live. But she went on to tell me that Rotary, thanks to all we had done to rebuild her community, had restored her optimism. She told me we had given her hope. This is a beautiful shell. And as I was planning the theme for our year and what it would mean, I was drawn not only to the shell, but also to the colours of the world around us, which are used to great effect by one of Scotland's greatest living artists, John Laurie Morrison, OBE, better known as Joe Lomo, whose paintings Heather and I have admired and collected for many years. As we were selecting the colours for our ties and our scarves, as you can now see on the screen behind me, I wanted them to reflect the world's colours, and more importantly, what Rotary should focus on in our year ahead. The memory of the lady from Thailand and these colours made me realise that what we should be seeking to do at this time, what we should be using as our call to action, and it all made me realise what our theme should be. And so I am delighted to tell you that our theme for 2023-24 will be Create Hope in the world. Keep der Welt Hoffnung. Cria esperanza en el mundo. Cria l'espoir dans le monde. Criamo speranza nel mondo. Sekai Nikobo o Motarasi, Sesage Hemang Ul, 
Christ Baranga Numundo, Sai Shitie Chung Oso Shiwan, Scapa Hope Evarden. This is how Rotary brings lasting change to the world, one newly created hope at a time. And the theme also begins to explain how we help to create a similar kind of change within ourselves. Because for many people on this planet, lost hope is not a function of material poverty loss. All of us face challenges that threaten our well-being. And just as it takes tremendous courage to wage peace, so too it is brave to reach out and admit that you need help. In the wake of the pandemic, more people than ever are hurting. Many have lost the people closest to them. Others have seen their social networks uprooted. Divisions have grown wider. Opportunities for connection have been lost. And some of those hurting the most are the children and young adults whose education and social skills building has been so interrupted. And to make matters worse, in many parts of the world, asking for help, especially in mental health, is considered a weakness. But nothing could be further from the truth. It is brave to be vulnerable and to admit you don't have all the answers. Reaching out for help is courageous and continuing on a path towards wellness even more so. Later this week, I will explain why I feel so strongly about the topic of mental health. And you will be hearing about some of the steps we will be taking over the next year and hopefully beyond to improve the mental health system, not only for our Rotary members, but for our communities as well. I want Rotary to become known as an organization that takes care of its members as well as the people we serve. Any mental health professional will tell you that by helping ourselves, we essentially help others. The evidence overwhelmingly shows that helping others benefits our mental health and our well-being by reducing stress and improving our mood. The friendships developed along the way foster an incredible sense of community and camaraderie, themselves essential ingredients to mental health and wellness. So, these are our plans for the year ahead, that we help bring peace to the world and soothe those afflicted by conflict and that we help each other and our communities deal with our own internal struggles and that we end the stigma associated with asking for help. In all these actions, the goal is to create hope, to help the world heal from destructive conflicts and in turn to help us achieve lasting change for ourselves. Rotary helps create the conditions for peace, opportunity, and a future worth living. By continuing what we do best, by remaining open and willing to change, and by keeping our focus on building peace in the world and within ourselves, Rotary creates a more peaceful world, a more hopeful world. And so, as Rotary leaders from all the regions, I urge you to create hope in the world. Thank you very much. There we go. Um, and over to you, Mary. Thank you, Steve. Bear with me while I share my screen okay and okay can everybody see that 
Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you all for coming along this evening to the president elect's training. <clears throat> You'll have to bear with me tonight. I'm I'm actually um I've tested positive for COVID this week, so my voice is a bit croaky. And hopefully I'll get through the evening without losing the voice completely. So um, um, let, let's begin. Um, first of all, congratulations on being selected um, as president of your club. What is Rotary? Well, Rotary is a worldwide humanitarian service organisation with... 37,000 clubs and 1.2 million members. <clears throat> Recently, I went to district governor training in Orlando with 500 DGs worldwide. It's only after seeing 216 different flags from all the countries worldwide, do you realize how massive and wonderful our organization is? I would encourage you to download the Rotary app. So whenever you go on holidays, you can join in with the fellowship and friendship in any country that you visit. In Rotary Great Britain and Ireland, we have 1600 clubs and 36 and a half thousand members with 24 district governors. The same thing applies regarding the app in this country, if you're visiting another part of the UK, uh, just go onto the app, upload it onto your phone and you'll see the name of the president, the secretary and the district governor in any club in the country, where and when they meet. And I would always advise you to contact them beforehand to make sure it's okay to visit. So you are part of this wonderful organization. You are one of those clubs. And in Southern Wales, District 1150, you are one of the 1,206 members. And your club is one of the 57 clubs in this area. Many of those clubs are traditional, uh, but we do have some satellite clubs. And we currently have one new style club, which doesn't meet every week uh, and concentrates more on projects. So in order to evolve, Rotary must change and move with the times. Here we are. Uh, this is me in 2016-17. I've been where you are now. I was president of Narbeth and Whitland Club. Actually, my district governor at the time was Steve Jenkins, who is our very own training officer and on the call this evening. You, you can see I had great fun in my year and I would encourage you to do the same. Every year, Rotary International president reveals at the International Assembly an internal theme. This year, the theme is <coughs> hope in the world. And as you see from Gordon's video, uh, it concentrates a lot on peace and mental health. Don't forget this theme is actually from the 1st of July this year. So we are still in Jennifer Jones's Imagine theme until then. Gordon McInerney comes from Scotland. He's our first Rotary International President from Rotary GBNI in many years. I think it's probably about 15 years since we had the last one. And he wants to create peace, opportunity, and a future worth living. How can you spread this message throughout your community? People are fleeing from war zones to take refuge in our country. How can we help them lead a better life here in the UK? In order for us to help others, we must maintain a positive, inspiring attitude as leaders. 
to encourage them to rebuild their shattered lives and hope for a better future. Rotary helps with humanitarian aid. Over a hundred thousand pounds has been raised in our district in aid of Ukraine. And we are now raising money for the Turkey and Syrian earthquake disaster <laughs> funds. Just hang on a second while I have a drink. Excuse me there. You are not alone on this journey. When I was in Orlando, I spo spoke to Rotary International President Gordon, and he asked me if I was enjoying the experience. I told him I'd had several pinch me moments when chatting to previous Rotary International presidents who'd, uh, who I only recognized from Rotary magazines. And he said to me, imagine how I feel as Rotary International president I've had the same pinch me moments. What you realize is that we are all Rotarians wanting to make the world a better place. We are all part of a team. And if you don't know the answer to a problem, there's always someone to ask. You're not alone. So we are a team and we are better together. Here's the district team for 2023-24. And in your clubs, your new best friends are going to be your assistant governors. They are here to advise you. In area one, it's Doug Warren. In area two, Alison Evans, who's on the call this evening. AG in area three is Carol Llewellyn. AG in Area 4, Mike Evans. AG in Area 5 is Andrew Pippin. And AG in Area 6 on the call this evening as well, Paula Pippin. So welcome to Paula and Alison. And thank you for joining us this evening. Oops. If you need a specialist, a, a specialist help from one of our, our advisors, uh, you can see here, this is the more extended team. And this will be in your president's mm -hmm. handbook. Uh, so you'll always have it to consult. Contact one of the team if you need help on, for instance, compliance, membership, foundation. I would encourage you to ask some of these team leads to visit your clubs as speakers. These are all the clubs in the district with the corresponding assistant governors. Why don't you visit another club occasionally? It used to be called the Scatter Night. It's really good for networking. Also help out at your neighboring club events. Encourage them to do the same with you. We are all in the, the organization. And gone are the days where you say, oh, I can't tell them that because they may pinch my idea. These days, we are encouraging you to work together. If you can help by marshalling at big profile events like Race for Life, then please do so. Being president does mean you're allowed to enjoy yourself. It's one of the best roles in Rotary. Try to lead by example inspire others, motivate your team members. You are not alone. There's always someone to share a problem or a success with. Share your stories on Facebook. Maggie Hughes, our public image lead, will be delighted to, to see these stories on your Facebook pages and she will share them on the district page. Can I encourage you not to have too many check presentations? I know it's tempting when you raise money to have a check presentation. Go with the money. For instance, if you if you raise money for a, a girls football team in your town and they are asking you to purchase some new footballs, wait till they get the footballs in and then go and have a fun photograph with them and the footballs. Share your success with the club. 
If you are an innovative president, make sure you take the team with you. Make sure there's other Rotarians in the photos. It elevates them and you. Have fun. We are all volunteers. If you're not having fun, then you need to change your thinking. Okay, over to you, um, Steve. Thank you very much. Just unmute myself. Um, right, do you want to stop sharing? Um, I'll stop sharing. And... Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, before we go on to the next bit, which is a bit more inform informative in terms of where you can find information, are there any questions of Mary so far? No? Okay, that's good. All well behaved. Better than last night, as the comedians <laughs> used to say. <laughs> Although Steve Brennan was in last night as well, so, you know, you always get the hangers on, don't you? <laughs> um, right. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, just... Um, I used to be slick at this, I think, at one time. Right, so this is... only. There are only going to be three slides for me, but uh, quite a lot of stuff in between. So... Um, what I'm going to talk about now really is the use of my rotary. Um, Mary had a lot of pinch me moments in um, Florida. I think you're going to have a lot of wake me up moments for the next 20 minutes, I guess. Uh, the, the first thing, um, which is a bit more challenging, I think, than we than, than it should be, is um, getting onto the websites. You can use the same username and password uh, for the Rotary Great Britain and I website and the RI website and your club website. Um, so, and that makes it a lot easier. But we do find that when when asking the questions, some people do have trouble getting in, and and therefore you you don't try after that. So la last night we had a couple of present elects who, who were failing to get into their websites, but we we resolved that today. So. Um, so it's good. It's good to be able to get into the website and also to to save it in your favorite because there's nothing worse than having to sort of rummage through the drawers to find out what your password was for something which you don't use that often. Uh, and then I will sort of cover the fact that there are two versions of my rotary. There's a my rotary for Great Britain and Ireland. And there's my rotary for Rotary International. So um, and then I'll talk very briefly about Rotary Club Central at the end of this next bit. So if I go on to, um, oh, that was the end of Gordon's thing, wasn't it? Uh, right, so this is, can you see this? Um, I'm on the Rotary Great Britain Island website. Mm -hmm. We can see it, Steve, but you need to expand it. In what way? <laughs> Uh, it's really small on the screen, so you just need All to... Right. Um, Is it small on everybody's it? screen or just on Mary's? Mine is all right. Mine is all right. Oh, no, no. I, can okay. see, I can see it clearly, yeah. yeah okay. Mine's fine. It, it may be the view you're on, you're on Mary. Oh, it could anyway, be. Could um, be. That's fine. I should crack on. So um, when you when you enter the Rotary GBNI website, you're asked to put your um, password and uh, so username and password in the email address. So if you've saved it to your uh, favorites, then it takes very little time. Um, and there we are, we're in. Um, move, move you guys are on my page a little bit. So this is, um, what I'm gonna do now is just raise your awareness of what is available on the Rotary GBNI website, because it is a very good website. And it gives you a lot of information that either you or one of your team members or club members needs to know. So across the, the top here, um, the toolbar, which starts with club and district tools on the left, then goes on public image through to the end. If you just click on the, it should work, if you just hover over the, um, there we go. So if you just hover over the um, the first heading there, which is club and district tools, you'll get the pull down menu, which covers um, a number of areas. 
and um, I won't go into everyone, but I'll just highlight the sort of things that are important to you. Um, so, for example, compliance, which is ever more important in this day and age. And in particular, within uh, clubs nowadays, there can be um, increasing number of disputes and arguments. And, and Rotary has a policy for dealing with that. Um, so if you click on dispute management, it takes you into the dispute management page. And as, as it says, their disagreements do happen. Uh, and some of these things become um, downloads. So you can copy them down into your into your own computer, but um, others are available to view on the screen. So if you wanted to see the dispute management procedures document, that's just become a download now. So I should be oh, I should be able to just quickly pull it up. I won't do this for everything. It's just to give you an idea of how the uh, how the information flow works so this is the information guide i think it runs to many pages and um, it includes flow charts a background to um, how disputes happen and what the procedures are and you can keep scrolling through um, so you it explains what mediation and arbitration is within rotary and um how you investigate a complaint properly, et cetera, et cetera, and, and how things are escalated. So I shall um, I shall exit that now if I go back to this page. Um, so, uh, and then it goes on to cover something which Mary will talk about in a minute, which is Rotary values and how we have this new um, guide here uh, explaining what our rotary values are and how we should follow them. Sorry, I didn't mean to press that. That was the rotary shop. All right, so um, that's one area of compliance which is useful to know. I think it's fair to say that if you do have a dispute in your club, um, if you can manage it and handle it within the club, that's fine. But um, once it starts to take on um, a, a bit more momentum, then I think you do need to contact your the district um, di uh, compliance officer for for guidance as to how to how to proceed, uh, and also involve your assistant governor as well. So all the um, areas of compliance are here. So um, there's insurance, which is always quite a good one. Today I was filling in a form which required me to. Um, to produce the uh, insurance policy certificate for Rotary, uh, which again is just a click click on that, and um, there it is. That's our public liability certificate. So increasingly, people will ask for that. So it's there. It's available to drown, to download. And. Um, I think I get out that one. It's a problem once you start downloading stuff, then it fills up the page. Oh, and now I need to find. Right, I'm back to here. So there are other things there like uh, constitutional documents health and safety guides, everything like that. Online tools then. So the brand center, you will hear us talking about quite a lot. Make sure that you can um, conform to Rotary's brand policy um, and uh, something which we will shortly be seeing the end of, I think it's just DMS, uh, there's information on there. Leadership development. A lot there. So, for example, if you want to become a district governor, from follow uh, Mary's footsteps. There's um, a lot of good advice there. What is a district governor? What do they do? How to prepare? Um, and the CV. And I think there's a role description for many of the um, jobs in the district here. Yeah. So, if you anybody in your club has ambitions to 
to step outside the club a little bit and um, take on the district role, then they can do a lot worse than read information that's on here. Uh, and another popular one is, is uh, carefully across this, finance. Um, you know, there's fin fin uh, a lot of information about finance there. And if, for example, a uh, common one is how do we pay the annual uh, club contribution to foundation, uh, the documents that you need are, are held under under the finance um, files here. So, again, in finance resources, just opens up you can, um, information sheet, uh, gift aid in particular. Some great advice there about gift aid because that when we have the treasurer meeting, it comes up every year. Um, types, um, what are the barriers to gift aid, gift aid? So. Um, so that again is there. So all of that is under the club and district tool, tools. Then you've got public image. So um, information about the brand guidelines, etc. Another common request is how do we get leaflets? And I nearly tripped up on that just a few minutes ago. There's a print on demand service, uh, which uh, takes you to the you click on that, I won't go there now, but Rotary has its own printing um, a, a, a partnership. So if you um, if you click on that, you get into their website, there's a range of leaflets, um, for example, new members pack, something like that, which you can, you can order on demand. They get printed and they'll send you, and you can obviously request as many as you want. So those are resources which are available under the public image uh, section. Projects, um, it lists the seven areas of focus there. Um, a little bit about the polio campaign, um, but also you can browse some projects if you're looking for inspiration. So um, we'll just click on that. And these are projects which Rotary, um, should we say recommends or, you know, the, the uh, ones which are popular amongst Rotary clubs. So you've got the Water Survival Box, Correct Carers UK, etc. Kids Out. Um, and it's quite a long list. So uh, it keeps going. Once you reach the bottom of the page, it'll keep going. And so uh, that's under the project section. The Youth Zone. So this lists the competitions and the rules. Um, uh, uh, of, of the rotary competitions. Um, so it's not just the ones we're quite used to, like musician and um, youth speaks and young chef now, but there are some newish ones like young environmentalist and young filmmaker, uh, which um, I th think would um, fit, fit most people's, um, you know, certainly a lot of young children in school studying those types of subjects would welcome the opportunity of of, of trying themselves out against others. On the left, you've got the, the programs like Rotor Kids, Interact, um, Youth Exchange, New Generation Service Exchange. So um, all the programs there and uh, their rules and regulations and some of the ones which we don't do too much of, but we've, we've had young citizens in the past. Uh, and in some parts, the technology tournament is quite, quite popular. So, um, there's a lot there uh, to interest your youth chairs. Membership, uh, obviously there's, um, Mary mentioned the club health check uh, mem and how membership resources generally. Uh, so if I were to just click on the health check there, um, it opens up um, the, the health club health check form, which again is a, is a download. Um, and it's, there we go. So I'll pull that up. Uh, and there's the form for you. So you can complete the cup health check. You don't, don't need to order anything anymore from any stationers as far as these things are concerned. It's all available at the click of a button. And um, let's get out of that. Uh, and there we go. 
it's bad enough doing this on my own in my own company, but uh, doing it on Zoom seems to get even worse. Um, how far did I get membership? Right. Um, and information on things like what is direct membership? Um, what are the rules around Rotaract nowadays? Are they Rotarians or not? Um, corporate membership. We're interested in that. What do we need to do? Uh, giving and grants then. So that's um, mostly that's all of our foundation. Uh, and finally, anything which isn't covered up until now tends to be in the Explore Rotary GBNI. So stuff about the Manchester Action Summit, for example, or the Rotary Ride. Um, and if you really want to know about the annual business meeting. So um, I, th I think I'll, I'll, I'll stop there um, and ask any questions really about the Rotary GBNI website. Do you think it would be useful to you? You can unmute and shout at me if you want. Yes, thank you, Steve. That was very interesting. I certainly will be using that website and getting information from it. Thank you. And it's for Alison? Um, perhaps we should have pointed out the Learning Centre, because I think that's quite useful, unless you're coming on to that later on. I'm coming on to it later okay. on. Okay. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 that's fine. Okay. I'm good. I'm glad I'm going to be talking about something you want to listen to. <laughs> I think okay. Steve Scott, Steve John from Saundersfoot has got his hand. Oh, sorry, yeah, Steve. Steve. Yeah. All I was going to say was um, I can never log in. I get a password reset every couple of weeks. I get in mm -hmm. once and it never lets me back in again. Uh, my mm -hmm. past, uh, previous past president has never used the site because he can never log in. I think there's yeah. a fundamental flaw there somewhere that needs looking at because <clears> it, <throat> it's it's terrible for some of us. We, As you said earlier, Steve, after half a dozen attempts, we just give up. Uh, Steve, yeah, so I wanted to mention we, it because we had it's a couple quite last night, point. didn't we? Yeah, but um, we, yeah, we had two last night and we've resolved those. Um, but it was a password reset again, Steve. So you know, I um, I hear what you're saying that sometimes these things work for a while and then something happens and they don't. Well, uh, I've I've reported it on several occasions. Right, and the oh, the response always is, "Oh, I'll reset your password," and it lets me in the once, and then I can never get in again. So it always says account inactive. I've asked them to check what causes that error message to see if they can sort it. I can always get into my rotary. I can never get into RGBNI. I mean, right. it's a wonderful resource when you can get in. Yeah. It's just it because of the hassle. You give up, yeah, or well, not you, but you know. It's easy to give up, isn't it? it, would it okay. be well, it's it's a um, it's a common th theme, and this is something I wanted to highlight anyway because it's a key to everything you do nowadays, really. And um, I'll I've, feed that back, Steve. I mean, I I know we will feed it back to the same person you've probably dealt with before, <laughs> but it sounds more widespread. And it, it may be linked to the um, the change over to Rotary View, but it may not. And I can see Steve Brandon shaking his head there. So, yeah, it's when uh, created a new account. The problem occurs if somebody tries to log in about three times, and then you will be locked out. And we can get your password reset, um, and it's the same username and password for all the sites. Um, and a lot of people are going in, um, they think they've logged in, but they aren't being logged in as members, so they're only seeing a sort of public view. So if anybody's having problems seeing the sort of private areas of the Rotary sites, um, let me know and I'll get your password reset. And if that's still causing you problems, we will sort it out for you fairly quickly. Thanks, Steve. Okay. So I think anybody having this trouble, just email Steve. <laughs> and I, I, I will keep an eye on it, but um, it it shouldn't be like that. Um, right? Any anybody else? Yes, Steve. Uh, I, Dan, our secretary you know, I, for the last ten years. Yeah, I, I found that so many sites. Um, we were told that DMS was going to be the final one and the only one to go through, but it seems to be something else now again. You know, whenever I go in. I've got to go into about four different sites. Um, 
Yeah, I think things are changing in that respect. Uh, but I mean, as I said, you could use the same user use a your, your email address basically and password for every, all of the sites. So yeah, it it does that. It make it easy when I go from one to the other. It does that. That's no yeah, problem. I, I, I often find it says "Will remember me" on the on the link, and I always take the "remember me" bit, but it forgets yeah. me next time anyway. I could have put the password in again, but you know that's no great hardship. Um. Okay, I think I, I'll take your point there. That's um, yeah, too many sites. So, yeah, uh, I th they're trying to um, make the um, Rotary International sites and the Rotary GBNI site talk to get, talk to each other a little bit better. And this Rotary View should do that, but it's still in the development stages. It's probably stage two out of three stages. So until it's completely finished and all the bugs have been sorted, then um, it may be difficult, um, perhaps for the remainder of this rotary year. Um, but keep persevering. Uh, right, should I talk about um, learning and development then? So um, let me go to share screen again. I'll do this first. Right. Um, sorry, but I'm going to keep on moving you around my screen. Right. So this is a uh, first part of the um, training and development process. Uh, and it's an opportunity for you really to sort of tell us what um, you, um, you, 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 the issues are as far as you're seeing them in your club. But um, the Rotary International Learning Centre is online and there is um, an expectation now that um, most president-elect will go on to the Learning Centre because that's where the, you will find a lot of uh, great advice as to um, the, the role of the president-elect. And I know from um, seeing the the faces on the screen that many of you are being pre will be presidents for the second, third, even more times. Uh, so, uh, but that's not to say that there isn't something there which, if you if you went onto the website onto the site, um, you you didn't know before. So I'll talk about the learning center um, now, but then uh, I'll also mention at this stage that in a month's time we've got the multi district pets which is the president-elect uh, training online again, uh, which where we join in with the uh, president-elect in three adjoining districts to us. The reason we do that is it's um, beneficial to sort of be in breakout rooms and share our experiences with other president-elects from outside our district. And uh, also we are able then to get a better quality presenters for the, for the weekend. So they're not long sessions. Um, on the Friday evening, it's it's two hours, but then there's a, there's a, there's a, there are speakers uh, and breakout rooms. And if you start a, with breakout rooms, then each breakout room will take about forty five minutes anyway. By the time you've um, discussed a, a, a challenge and then fed back, then Saturday morning is three hours, and then on the Monday evening it's just an hour and a half. So um, spread out over the weekend. Um, you know, it gives you um, the opportunity of of rotary training in little short in short bursts like that. Uh, and even if you can't make the three, you you know, there's a chance you'll make one or two. Uh, and then after that, then in May, the twelfth, the fourteenth of May, we have our district assembly, which is now for um, yourselves and all your club leaders and any other return who wants to to come along and find out. That will be online as well. Um, again, Friday to, to Sunday, and it will be similar to last year and the year before in the way um, it'll be presented. So uh, the um, benefit of some of these is that they are they are more of a training element. So you've got a secretary session, you've got the treasurer session. Um, and so a secretary or treasurer just needs to go to those. 
Um, and then you've got foundation, which again is a bit more specialist, but you know, we would like to have more people coming along to foundation because um, you'll find out things you didn't know as with all of these training sessions. Uh, and then I'll, I'll mention at the end of my session that we are, we are um, uh, updating the president's handbook, which is a district based um, information pack. So uh, if I now go to um, the training bit, so I'm now going to Rotary International's website. Um, and learning and sorry, if, so if you go to the Rotary International website using your username and password, you'll get to the, um, right. Sorry, I've got to move you around the page again. You'll get to the 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 landing page, which is the, the My Rotary page. Um, right. Okay. So this is what you where you'll enter the site, and um, just to confirm that you know with you your club details uh, are on the left hand side here, and if you scroll down, you'll get to. Uh, a section online tools which has got a uh, learning center and here we go again because he didn't remember me last time it's a little bit slower on the ri site but it's still less than half a minute and that probably depends on your broadband speed as well. Um, can you ask me that again? Okay, try it a different way. So into learning and reference. So uh, the way I got into that was just ticking, clicking the learning and reference heading. And um, then you've got the, the key sections here. So if you're um, club treasurer, you can click on there and find out a bit about the treasurer role. Um, but in your case, um, you'll be president. And there's a little bit about what, what your role is then. And then you can take an online course in the Learning Center. And this will come up uh, with the online course for a club president. Okay, so uh, the course you're invited to uh, take part in is the Club President Basics course. Now, um, I will draw your attention to the fact that it says there it takes four hours and 45 minutes to complete the course, uh, but it's broken down into 11 different courses. So um, it's something you can spread out over a couple of months. Uh, or you may start doing one or two, and while you're at it, you'll do another, you know, two. So you may do it in little clusters of three or four. Um, and so these are the these are the courses. I won't click onto them because if I do click onto them, then I I get into the course and um, it's it's difficult to get back out again. But you can see that the ex expected amount of time, the duration of the course is is there. So you know that's only going to take about fifteen minutes. Uh, that one will only take 15 minutes and then the, a couple of a longer 30 minutes and then um, best practice for engaging members. These now are, are a little bit more specific to, a, specific to a particular job, which is always the engaging members here. So that takes 45 minutes. Um, and 
they all add up to the four hours, 45 minutes. So there's 45 minutes on Rotary Foundation basics. So any anything really which um, the president does need to know um, uh, as they embark on their course is is in this this section here. And that's all you need to be aware of. And when we go to the multi-district pets, then um, it'll be... Um, uh, it, it, you know, the, the, there'll be you'll be able to talk with much more inf um, knowledge as to what the course uh, course is entailed. But those that multi district pets will be largely breakout groups where you've got the opportunity of uh, sharing best practice and looking at separate challenges with with your colleagues. Um, I I think I'll stop there and um, ask again. Are there any questions? Good. I think I'll hand back to you now, Mary, because you've been... Steve, can I ask one? Sorry. Oh, sorry, Philomene, I didn't see. No, no, no problem. Um, are, the, are, those, um, are those courses updated, do you know? They're, they're updated, at least annually, yeah. Okay, um, no, so I, I did them about three years ago. Uh, I just wondered if, it, if there's any new materials being added. Uh, I will... I, I don't know. I, I would have thought one or two of the individual courses will have been updated. Yeah. Thanks. I'm sure they will have checked each year to make sure that they're still fit for purpose. Good. Thanks. You'd be able to know the answers then if you've done it before. <laughs> okay, Mary. You're on mute. It's the first time I've done that this evening. So it's, there's always once you do it, doesn't it? Uh, bear with me a second while I, um, hang on a second. Don't know quite what I've done here now. I'm going to stop share for a minute. Um, bear with me while I. Right. Okay. Can you see that? Are you able to see that, everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, leadership. Is your club healthy? I would say it's wise to do a club health check. I did one in my year and I think the club improved because of it. People will write, write things down in a survey that they wouldn't tell you to your face. Find out if you're meeting too often. Are meals too expensive? Would they like more social events? Would they like to do more projects in the community? And you can do partnership working with other organisations. Our club has just teamed up with the local rugby club to hold an out outdoor concert. Rotary does the publicity and the rugby club does provides the venue, the food and the bar. It's a great partnership. What do you hope to achieve in your year? You can encourage more members to join the club. And can you retain them? Set yourself realistic goals and stick to them. As Steve referred to earlier, Rotary values and behaviours. Sometimes you need to remember that uh, we're all volunteers. Rotary has at its core the values of integrity, fellowship, diversity, service and leadership. They're all demonstrated in the conduct of both the organization and the individual Rotarians and uphold the law by providing the framework of compliance, details of which are found in the, in the members area. Rotary values are set against the conduct that is expected of every member. I won't go through them there, but Steve told you where you can find that on on the members area in the Rotary GB and I Island website. 
Five ways to ensure you have good well-being. Continue learning. You're never too old to learn. Give generously. It doesn't always need to be money. Your time and your kindness are important too. Connect with other Rotarians. They will inspire you. Be active. Do some walking, cycling, swimming, and try and get rid of the stress. Delegate tasks to your team members. They will help and guide you, especially if they've been in the, the role for a while. Or you can also, also ask previous presidents of the club who will be happy to share their experiences with you. Link with other like-minded organisations. The Round Table, Inner Wheel, The Chiroptimus, 41 Club, Tangent. We, have, we often have the same core values. Over recent years, Rotary rules have changed to allow us to innovate and be more flexible in when and where and how we meet. How we manage attendance, the types of membership we offer, e-clubs, passport clubs, project clubs, satellite clubs. Connect with new potential members, be seen in your community. Borrow the district branded gazebos. Uh, contact Peter ha Hamilton, the membership chair, and he will uh, let you have the gazebo for a few days for your events. Wear matching t-shirts or polo shirts. Look professional when you, you're on display in your community. Postcards are available for free from the Rotary On Demand shop. The club only pays the postage. Make sure your branding is correct. There are a few clubs out there who still use the heritage logos, the blue and yellow logo. I would encourage you to use the, well, we still say it, the new logo, which has the master brand and Rotary by its side. It's actually in its 12th year now, but people still refer to it as the new logo. Send your articles into the media. Share your articles on social media. Please don't keep your success stories to yourselves. Corporate membership sometimes means you can engage younger people with a variety of skills. Find out the skill set of all the members in your club. You may find somebody is good on social media or has good photography skills. Make sure you use them. Salespeople can also uh, encourage new members when you're out in the community. They may, may attract far more members than the ordinary Rotarian. Also, estate agents. Ask them to give your membership flyer to people, to new people who are moving into the area. They may want to uh, increase their, their friendship and uh, social circles, so they make ideal Rotarians. Thank you for attending the President-Elect training this evening. We wish you every su success as you plan your year. Go on to the Learning Centre to check the President's role. Look after yourselves and your well-being. Be positive and inspirational at your club. Remember, experts are here should you need us. You are not alone. You belong to Rotary International. Let's create hope in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mary. Thank so, you. Uh, are there any questions? I think I, I um, we're doing okay for time. It's just gone eight o'clock now. So um, I just want to mention, I think, the um, the President's Handbook, which will be available to you shortly. And uh, if I just 
um, share screen. And does this come up? Yes, it does. Yep. Okay. Um, we, we didn't do it last year, but we've done it for the previous five or six years. And uh, it, it will be a handbook of about 30 pages at most. And what it does is take everything which is available um, on the RI website and the Rotary GBN I website into a single document with links. So um, I'll just scroll through it um, very quickly now. So um, there'll be, there's a message from the uh, from Mary as to what the object is for next year and her vision. Um, the reasons why do we have this in the first place? Uh, and I'm just going to scroll it, so don't concentrate too much on the words. Um, the usefulness of the my rotary website so it's a question or you know you click there and you'll find you'll find it um how to create a successful club plan for the year um the benefits of selecting a good team uh, and leadership and motivation um and then it goes on to a uh, little bit of guidelines as to how we can meet, you know, we don't have to meet uh, like we used to, as we've heard earlier on this evening from Chantwit Major, you know, the different ways of meeting and doing our rotary now. But where we do have meetings, you know, there are little tips, you know, like always prepare um, and have somebody to meet and greet the speaker, start and finish on time, check beforehand. These are just basics that we probably all do. But if you're new into the role and some people are, then it's worth just um, having something which you can uh, use as a framework. Um, what the purpose of the club council meeting is in a sort of layman's terms, you don't have to go rushing to find what's in the constitution. What significant club meetings take place during the year? So there's the SGM, the AGM, club assembly, presidential handover. Um, Mary um, prefers to visit clubs in her year uh, our projects and things like that. It's um, much preferred to see Rotary in action rather than stand in front of a group of Rotarians um, at a meal. Uh, she can still do that if you want her to, but I think her priority would be to see the good work that Rotary does. Um, a little bit of a membership retention, uh, links to the, the, the areas on the websites, um, types of membership. Uh, new members, where you get your new members pack, what's the process for inducting new members, uh, having um, membership evenings, um, then some tips on making good presentations and public speaking, the do's and don'ts, uh, and prepare your tech. Something you have to get back to used to doing after a um, few years of Zoom. Uh, and then there'll be some dates. Uh, the content of your club assembly, again, is a guide, uh, checklist, um, working with the district, your assistant governor. And and I'm only up to 19 pages there. I, I've got to update the other 10, but this should be available by the end of the of the week. And um, as I say, it's a, it's a document which pulls everything else together and shows you where to go um, from a, dis a district perspective, because we obviously do some things. Uh, in a more bespoke way uh, in our, on our patch.